People deluded, good evening and I hope you're all doing well and safe and them things now. I can't speak for everyone, but you lot know I love young players. I've been watching the under-20s when I can, with what I can. And one winger, winger, one fullback I liked, he plays like a winger, is probably why I said that, um, is Palacios. Um, I like him a lot, he's 19 years of age, he plays for Ecuador. Um, I'm not the most clued up of him, the only time I've become aware of my man has been the under-20 World Cup, but I like him. Obviously, with first and foremost, I'm looking at if someone can defend. Um, I know the modern day requires going forward and stuff, and we'll get onto his qualities in regards to that in a second. But I do think he needs a lot of work. He's 19. He's played 32 times in the in a Dutch division, first division for William. Um, he's played. You can see that he's made some progress, and it, his experience definitely is showing at under 20s because he does look a yard above everybody and cooler in certain defensive situations. I believe he's actually capped at full national team level as well. Um, so he probably is somewhat someone that is in that camp in the in the Ecuador under 20 squad, which has a couple ballers. To be fair with you, he's probably a senior player of sorts, someone that they're leaning on his experience and his progress that he's made at club level. And obviously under 20 football is under 20 football. And personally, I look at it, there are some good players. For instance, I like Pinamonte and Schumacher, but they're of the age where they're probably not ready to lead the line for. I believe Pinamonte plays for Inter Milan and I'm not sure for Schumacher right now off the top of my head. But you can see players that are ballers, but you can see possibly why they go on loan and things like that. And he, he is a good player, but he's got a lot to work on. I do think at times he's caught flat-footed. Um, I do What I do like about him, he is very good 1v1. He doesn't panic in defensive situations. He's comfortable playing out of tight spaces. Can improve on corners. Um, his heading is, is okay, so so I guess it can improve. Like I said, his positioning, just little things can improve, but he gets up and down the field very well. He puts in a good tackle. He makes a good recovery challenge. He's very tenacious in that. Going forward, he's a strong dribbler, fairly strong dribbler with a ball. He can put a decent ball into the back of the net. Back of the net, sorry, he can put a ball into the into the box, sorry. Um and things like that. Like I said, defensively and offensively, he's okay 1v1. And I like him, man. I like what I've seen of him. Like I said, he's 19. He is going to be raw. I'm probably playing in the Premier League more often than not. He might, I wouldn't say he'd struggle, but there'll be times his age would show because there's some very street smart strikers and conmen strikers, for instance. It doesn't matter what you personally feel. I wouldn't, if I was a defender, I think you could learn a lot. Obviously, I can sit here and say Sergio Aguero and all of these sort of players, and it's true. But I think a defender could learn a lot playing with against Lorente or Giroud, for example. Like you saw with Delight against Spurs, Lorente came off the bench and he stressed him. Physical handfuls. I think someone could learn playing against someone like... Um, Glenn Murray, for example, Shane Long, these sort of strike, Troy Deeney, someone that is going to 50-50 everything. These are the sort of players that defenders learn from and take stuff away. Obviously, you've got the prolific Canes, the Aubameyans, the Sullers, the Agueros, it goes without saying. But these are the sort of players that when you play against them, you learn, you take things away. And that's actually why I always say to you, look, you can't get experience without experience. Rob Holden, I love the guy and he's played a decent amount of football prior to his injury. But he could have possibly played more. And you need the likes of him and Mavropanos, for example, to play against strikers like that. On top of just playing in the top league, just playing against strikers that make you think. Because football, the older you get from under eights to under to, to the first team level, Raheem Sterling, full Eng England international. What's the one thing that changes people beyond the obvious of technical ability? It, it The older you get, it becomes more of a thinking game. And the better you are at thinking as a footballer, the easier it gets. If you can, why do you think Xavi and all of these players are sick? Lionel Messi is sick, but why is he the best people? It's not his technical abilities. A lord, people, his goal scoring, and you lot know Messi's the best ever. But he sees this picture five minutes before it happens. He's able to comprehend. Okay, my teammate can give me that ball. This center, this center half, or this fullback is out of position. I'm gonna exploit it now. I'm gonna dribble past him and blah blah blah. Do you see it? You more see it in central midfielders, especially as I was a fullback at grassroots level. So I more see. I personally have a pet peeve of, I hate when people praise reactionary defending. I do it as well. Like obviously defending, ninety percent of it is reacting, but I also my maths is poor. But also ninety percent of it for me is being proactive. It's about thinking. Think about it, people. If I know you are faster than me, people, and I'm trying to play an offside trap, I'm play. I know I'm playing a risky game, 
But if I think to myself, right, this guy is quicker than me, but I have half a chance if I drop off a couple of yards and get a bit of a, a head start in a foot race. Let me drop off. Let me tell my midfield or, or my defensive partner to be the marker and let me drop off. Make the case easier, people. Football is a thinker's game. Football is a thinker's game. Many people don't see that example I've just said because it's hard to see that on TV. If Van Dyke does that in a, in a game, many people aren't going to see that unless you're there. But but at the same logic, if if if... if they're playing against Manchester City and Raheem Sterling's dancing past 10 men and Van Dyke sprints and makes a lovely challenge. Everybody, and rightly so, everybody's going to clap him and salute him. But many people don't see how your life can be easier as a defender if you're proactive versus reactive. In fact, if you're proactive everywhere on a football pitch, in, in life, if you're, pro, if you're proactive, think about it logically, people. If you're not someone who's going to sit down... Again, I'm going off football topics, but... Um, if you're someone who's proactive in life and you're not going to sit here and wait for good things to happen, you're going to go out there and make things happen for yourself, whether that's education, entrepreneur stuff, bettering your life or whatever. Is, do you have a better approach or fixing your situation or bettering yourself rather than someone that's reactive, rather than someone that, I don't know, knows that knows that they knows that they got bills to pay at the end of the month, doing splurging, and now they're going, they're going and getting cash converter loans and that to tie them over. That's reacting to stuff. You did dumb stuff, now you're reacting. If you was proactive and you put money away at, this, at the beginning of the month or the end of the month, whenever you personally get paid and you can take on them bills and you can sleep good at night and still got things to do with it, you as reactive people... I think he's a good player, people. Again, the scouts have to run the the rule over him, and he did well against America. I can't remember the game they played before that, but Ecuador have impressed me when I have seen them. And probably you can, I bet, just typing in his name, you see hella. He must be linked with hella clubs now because he has been pretty decent. And looking back at the games now, and what I've seen of him at this tournament, his experience probably is telling to a degree because there are some 18 year olds in this competition and that and to be honest off topic New Zealand have done all right they've got one they've got I think some player a winger called Ben Wayne 17 18 and their left back of similar age I can't remember his name but they got a left back and he um when was the penalty shootout he was taunting opposition fans can't remember his name but um he'll obviously when I review the whole tournament as a whole I'll probably mention him but um yeah people man I think he's a good fullback and someone to look at so on that note, I'm going to keep it moving, but as far as I've seen, he's made 32 appearances, so with that, that's not the most experienced player, so, and not the the most, um, what was I going to say, not the most appearances, so we're going to have to take in mind, if he was signed or he was to get him, that he's still developing, like I said, people, taking a cerebral approach and being proactive comes with experience people think about it you can't relate to situations or use situations as a guideline to improve yourself if you haven't gone through them yes he's had bad games and stuff in his career probably as he's as he's been a professional footballer but you get the point on that topic people i'm gonna keep it moving though um so yeah on that note i just thought i'd offer my opinions on a decent left back i've seen when i've been watching the under 20s man and i'm sure you've seen him as well people thank you for your time dg i'm out